Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use the list and how we can manage the columns, add a task and also do the whole thing here. So the first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in my workspace you want to click plus and I'm going to use a blank project. Here I'm going to have a task list, a name and then default view, list, continue, start adding tasks. In the moment when I have it the first thing you're gonna find here that you can simply add a task but right before it let's add a section so I'm going to have a to do first one then I can simply add a new section I'm going to zoom in a little bit add a section which is going to get called in progress and then a done now here I have three sections what I can do is to simply add a task to the section and let's say I'm going to write a task name which is going to get called I mean go swimming right so that's something I have to do or let's say create a YouTube video that's better so let's say that's the first task that we have now what you can do is when you would go on the left of the task you can easily mark task as a complete you can open the task and you can directly edit the columns and everything in the task so we can create a YouTube video so no assignee I can add assignee here due date I can add a due date projects this is the task list and to do like which section is going to be you can add it to multiple uh, projects then you have an option to add dependencies so you can have option to have blocked by or blocking and then find the task so that's something you can have you can add a description or record the video but the next thing that you can find here that you can easily add a subtask so you can click here add a subtask and you can write here asana subtask right or let's say a youtube thumbnail then youtube description so we have the two subtasks here and that's pretty good right so then you're gonna have like the informations here now what you can do you can mark it as a complete you have options to like this you can add attachments you can find the subtasks here you can even copy tasks link if you want and then have an option to mark as a milestone you can mark it as an approval you can convert it to subtask or project or you can create a follow-up task and then you can close the details so here you have, is how we can edit a task when we go further we can find a signing due date and we have option to simply add a field here and we have option to add these fields of course right above it you're gonna find customize and in customize you're gonna find fields that you can assign e, due date created by created on last modified on completed on projects so you can easily add these fields here so let's say created by created on and that's good right and you're gonna have automatically these columns here then you can add plus here and you can simply choose let's say that I want to add uh, a single select so I can add a status or priority so here I have option let's say it's going to be high medium low then I can create a field and I can simply choose if it's going to be the priority high medium low then I can simply click plus here again and I can add a single select again or multi select so what you can have also is option to add a text or a number so let's say when you're going to add a number a cost or revenue then you have option to choose a format if you want to have it as a percentage USD euro or custom label on unformatted and now when I have let's say euro cost 
it's going to be 1000 euro create a field now I will just simply add 1000 and here I can simply also add a currency percentage now let's say I'm going to add another task which is going to be create marketing YouTube video and I can simply change the cost here to two thousand dollars or euro and you directly see that the sum is three thousand we have option that like the column functions here as average minimum maximum count so you can simply choose an average or minimum or maximum or count so that's pretty amazing what you can do here and how you can uh, play around it So that's also really amazing. And then what you can do, of course, is to have incomplete tasks, complete tasks, all tasks, and then filter as just my task due this week, due next week, and see the just my tasks. Or you can then also sort it by a due date, assignee, created by, created on, last modified, likes, priority costs. And then you have also option to save layout as default or you can search the project. So they are, these are two things what you can do. Of course, then when you have it, like you can simply move it to in progress, but you can use a board settings for it. So then you have also option to use a, like a done. So I can simply move it here and add it to done. And here, that's pretty much it. So I hope this video helped you on how you can understand the list view. You can, of course, on the top right, see the customize. You can add the rules here. So I can add a rule. Oh, we can have set priority right so to do and set priority high then we can create a rule so new video automatically you see the priority changed so this is how you can simply use it for a lot of stuff one of them is this the priority and this is how you can manage the list so thank you very much guys for watching. I hope this video helps you. I hope you are going to have a great day. And yeah, see ya. Goodbye.